Welcome JDC Moms and Dancers. Um, I'm Miss Candy and this is my model Cadence and I'm going to show you how to do the makeup for the competitions. I think Miss Chris has said this but you can get a little toolbox but what I like to do is I get these little, I got this at AC Moore. Um, they're in the craft section or scrapbooking section and I like this one because these little dividers come out and then you can make your sizes for everything. So I put my makeup all in one and then I have another one for all my hairpins, um, my comb, everything like that. Bobby pins, hair ties. And then I have one for all my pins, my little Velcro, static guard, band-aids. So these little dividers you can use for anything. They're very, very helpful and keeps you very organized. So when you first start out, you always want to find a foundation that's closest to your um, skin color. Give it a little shake. Everybody applies it differently, but I just dab it all over the place. This helps keep the makeup stay on. And then you just blend it. Make sure it gets right into the hairline so you don't have a ring around the face. Make sure when you do the eyes, chin up a little bit, that it's nice and um, even. If it's not, it's gonna be dark. And the eyes are important, again, because then it keeps your makeup on, and you don't have to touch it up so much. Right down. Sorry, honey. <laughs> All the way down. To the hairline. There, so that's step one. And everybody uses something different, but I have the little foam um, applique. Then after the makeup, you go right to the eyeshadow, which is the Mary Kay Cinnabar. Right in. And make it go straight out. Do not go down, you wanna open your eye up. And you do want a definite line, you do not blend like you do with your everyday makeup. You want a definite line. And see how it kind of comes out to a little point? And then just keep blending it. Yeah. And then I do the other side. Same thing. Go straight out. And the test to make sure your brown is high enough, because everybody's eye is shaped differently. The test is if she opens her eyes, you can see the brown. See how you can see the brown right there? Open again, Kata, and that's good. And then sometimes I just shape with my finger if I went down too far, like that. Just make sure you go straight out. And you do go like out a little past the eyebrow to open it up. And then you just touch it up here and there. And it is pretty dark. You don't want like everyday makeup. You're not really supposed to see makeup. This is stage makeup. The lights uh, make you very light on stage. And then we go to the cream. And this is CoverGirl and it's the, I forgot what it's called. It's on the list though. It's like cream something. And this is the tricky part. See how Cadence's eyebrow starts thinning out and going up? That is where you start and you go straight out. You don't wanna start all the way in. And again, do not blend. See how I have a definite line? That's what you want. And then I'll do the other side, turn your head straight out. Again, see how I started where the eyebrow gets thin? Just like that. And that's just the base, that's the cream. Then you move on to the silver. And this is the Revlon Diamond Lust. But in order to keep that on, you get chapstick. Any type of chapstick. And I like these little applicators are at like CVS or whatever. See how it's nice and flat? I just round that up. And again, start same spot and go straight out. Wherever you put this chapstick is where the silver is gonna stay. So you don't wanna go below that brown line. Another trick for the silver 
is you blot because you want to get the little crystals. You want that glitter. So if you watch, I'm just going to blot. I am not going to blend. See how I blot? And again, nice, definite line. And you have to go over it a couple times. Make sure you have enough on there because if you don't, your glitter eyeshadow will not stick. The dabbing is the most important key to getting that nice, nice crystal glitter look that makes your eyes really shine on stage. And another little trick is um, you can't use an applicator over and over because the, the chapstick stays on it. So probably like every halfway through the season, you'll want to get a new applicator so the chapstick isn't on it. So it comes off nice. So there's that. And then after that is the famous eyelashes. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the eyelashes and there's, um, you're gonna get the Ardell Professional Natural 101 Demis. There's two kinds you can get. You can get the kind that I use that you have to use your eyelash glue, um, the Duo um, Clear White. Or a lot of my parents also use the kind that are adhesive. They already have the glue on them so you do not have to do the old fashioned way. So whatever works for you, but make sure they're the Demi 101s. I'm gonna use the glue, which I always do, but just in case um, some moms wanna use the glue. There's a trick to the glue. You squeeze a little bit, very, very little, and then you move and you spread it out. A little bit of squeeze and then spread it out. You want a very thin film of glue. If not, it's gonna end in her eyes and her eyes will be shut closed. That will not be good. So just like that, and then I set this down. And then I just pull it out a little bit and get right down on the eyelash. Really, really low like that. I got a little glue, but I just wipe it down a little bit. You want to make sure you get it close into the eye and then I just quick do a little boop so her eyelash doesn't, her two eyelids do not stick together. Now the petites and some students that have small eyes, some girls have to cut just a little bit off. You don't want them longer, you want them the same size as your real eyelashes. And it helps if um, the student doesn't squinch her eye. If you notice Cadence, I pulled it out, she just left it nice and relax, no um, squeezing of the eye, which then wrinkles the skin. Sometimes the new ones are a little tricky because they're not formed to the eye yet. And then just press it down and then I just quick do a little boop to make sure there's no glue. And just let that sit for a little bit. While that's drying, I also want to say you can re reuse eyelashes. When you take them off, you just lightly peel the old glue off and it will come off. Don't keep applying glue on top of glue on top of glue because then they, they won't um, stick to the eye very well. Make sure it's nice and dry. If the glue, if you open the eye and it's still wet, the glue's gonna get up there. And then believe it or not, then your eyeshadow, wherever the glue is, is gonna be really dark and you don't want that. So I just go like this. Yeah, hers is dry and she's just gonna open. Go ahead, open it. And if you look, it really looks like her eyelashes. I mean, they're right next, there's no space in between. Uh, eyelashes are on. Um, you can, after you take the glue off them, you'll just put them right back on the holder so they stay formed in that nice little U shape. And then when you're done with that, you gotta make sure the mascara, this is the tricky part. Just brush like that. 
Yep, look up cadence. This is not her favorite part. There. Just a little bit so it looks like she has some look up. Yeah. There. Just like that. Now, um, now I'm going to apply the eye gems. Eye gems. And that's for our little petites or any dancers who do not use eyeliner. The trick is you kind of just go right... And it's a little triangle. The point goes in. It's almost maybe like a finger. Must be, because I just eye it. So it's just like a little finger out. Again, not too wide, not too big, not too little. Because um, this is what opens the eyes up. And then you just get a little container. And you just take your little finger and put it right on that little dot of glue. And this is the eyelash glue that I use to apply the eyelashes. And that glue will dry clear, so you don't have to worry. But don't put too much glue because then it's gonna droop and your eye, your eye gem's gonna droop. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way, just like that. And again, eye gems can be used over and over. Again, take the glue off the backs of them. If you don't, for some reason, the eye gems rust if the glue sits on there after you take them off. Now I'm gonna add a little dot of rhinestone glue, eyelash glue right here, and right here. This is the hard part. This placement is hard. You want it right inside of the nose. You don't want it too high or too low. And as you get doing your daughter's makeup, you'll know exactly right where it goes. And these eye gems you can get right at the studio at the front desk. Now when you get your blush, I use Maybelline, you can use any kind. You want it darker than the skin color, definitely. Again, no blending in, this is stage makeup. So nice, definite line, right on the cheekbone into that hairline, just like that. And it's darker than you think, because those stage lights really make those, uh, makes the students pale on stage. So right on that cheekbone into that hairline. And then the other. And again, you can use any kind you want. Turn your head a little bit. Right into that cheekbone. Right start from that cheekbone and go right into that hairline. And it's almost like a little bit of a definite line again. You don't want to blend it in like you would do with everyday makeup. And then you just look at her to make sure it's nice and shows a little bit in the front like her right cheek didn't. I couldn't see it too much in the front. And again, probably this um, blush you will have to apply throughout the competition. And sometimes even my brown a little bit. It fades even though I use foundation. I touch up the brown and I also touch up the glitter too. The silver and the black um, eyeliners, they always stay nicely. So then then you apply your lipstick, and it's the Mary Kay um, Sizzling Red. I'm not going to do that, but uh, apply that lipstick. And then the very last thing you do is your bronzer. And the bronzer always use a nice fat brush. And then just lightly go over. The bronzer kind of blends in, not blends, but makes the other part that doesn't have the thick um, makeup kind of blend in now see right here it's heavy because I didn't blend my foundation at all the way so make sure when you do that foundation you blend it in nice and it's nice and even um, I think that's about it she does have her lipstick on but you you can do the lipstick I hope my makeup video has helped I would recommend to practice a lot um, because the, the morning competition or the time you're competing, and if it's your first time, you're going to be a little anxious and nervous. So you want to make sure you're very calm and your, your daughter and your dancer is very calm. And I really high, highly recommend that the dancers be very good for their moms and sit nicely. Um, you guys are both team, team members, and you got to work together. So I hope my makeup video helped, and um, happy dancing. Talk to you later.